My name's Alicia. Thought I would just do a quick little 15, 20 minute uh, bowstring video just for those who feel like moving and don't have a lot of time. So let's get this party started. Do, do, do. I'm on my way to go teach a, a, a bowstring class right now and I haven't moved all day. I've been on the computer. So this is particularly lovely for people who just need that little quick break, quick computer break. Get, get this stuff done. So option to sit on a block here if um, you're not used to having weight on your ankles or like on the top of your foot. And if you're on the block, just take your hands to your bum and lift your cheeks so that you sit a little bit taller on the sits bones. Um, if you're happy with no block, then just finding a heroed ankle, the top of the paw, pushing down and pulling back towards the knee. <clears throat> yeah, just like so, so like a low hollow. Let's take two hands into ecstasy, cup the back of the head, find a couple of belly lengtheners here. So sitting the hips down and back, and then forearms stretch up to the sky. The, the movement is subtle, and we want to keep the hips tacked down and back, and then just reach the fascia in the belly forward and up. This like lengthening quality, even like little shimmy side to side feels nice. Keep the top of the paw, the top of the foot, pressing down and pulling back towards the knee, hollowed in the ankles. Hands are there to support your head. Elbows hug forward nice and strong. Cool. And then take two hands out in front of you. Seed hands and seaweed sway side to side. Dropping an ear to a shoulder to pick up through the opposite ribs. Keep the hips tacked down and back as you open the belly forward. Couple of little seaweed sways in the ocean of air. <laughs> Ah, it is beautiful out here today, and I've been inside all day. Oh, heartbreaking. I've got work to do, though. Okay, so now sit the hips back, take hands down, domes slide to right. Tuck the back toes, fill into the back heart to lift the knees, crouching cat. You might need to fix your stance a little bit. <clears throat> So hands as wide as the mat or as wide as your shoulders, depending on the, the distance of your mat. Um, a little bit of extra space is nice. And then externally rotate the elbows forward so that your elbow armpits face inwards towards each other. Take your chin forward past the wrists. Push the mat away to fill into the upper back. Pause. Your feet are either the total mat distance apart for a little extra space to open through the pelvic floor or maybe a tiny bit narrower depending on the level of practice you've had in bowspring more advanced is a little bit more together pause root down when i speak to the pause i'm saying that the toe pads and mounds so this part of your foot right there <laughs> so pause root down Pause, push down and out to the side to engage the whole posterior chain. And then and the hips up to the sky. We can feel the heels pull back towards the back of the mat to extend through the whole back line of the leg. A couple of pulses just like this, feeling your ribs stretch forward and the hips stretch back. Nothing about this crouching cat is easy. <laughs> it is super engaged. Finding little twists from side to side feels good. Almost like knocking the knees into the center line and just moving the hips while you isolate the ribs. And then find some stillness. Let's twist our cat to the left. Toes to the left, knees to the left. Hips sit back towards the heels. Your right ear drops to your right shoulder. Lift up through the left ribs. Sit down and lift up. Find that beautiful extension all through the left side body. Right ear drops to right shoulder to pick the left ribs up some more. <clears throat> rooting down through the paws, belly bows to the left, hips pull to the back, to the right. Come back to center, twist your cat to the left, uh, what is the right, sit hips back towards the heels, left ear drops to left shoulder, lift up through the right ribs, hips sit down and back, and then the belly bows to the right, so belly goes this way, hips go that way. And dropping ear to shoulder allows you to lift the ribs up some more. Finding little pulses, rooting down to rise up, ribs to the sky. Come back to center. 
to have a couple of cat burglar hops. So this will warm it up really quick, just getting um, the blood pumping. So arms push so straight. And then you hop forward and hop back. And going as fast or as slow as you want, landing light with the paw of the foot and a little spring in the knee. Hop forward, hop back, stay hop back. Crouching cat, set it up nice and strong, hands as wide as the mat, feet as wide as the mat or maybe a little bit more narrow. And the distance is like so that you can keep the knees bent a lot, hips in the sky and the chin forward past the wrist so that this feels um, accessible. If the, if the stance is too long, it's going to um, not feel cool, we're not going to be able to get the actions we want. <laughs> okay, so booty's in the air, chin is past the wrists, push the mat away, fill into the upper back, belly is long, hips pulling back and heels pushing back towards the back of the mat. Take right leg out to the side, dome right fingertips, drop left ear to left shoulder to pick up through right ribs, become lighter on your right fingertips. Keep this right knee narrow to start, so it doesn't have to go up so high, even here is so cool. Just keeping the knee narrow so that we allow the pelvic floor to open. Belly bows to the right, left paw roots down, and energetically hugs to the left side of the mat. Find a stoke your motors, little pedal, little pedal. Take your eyes, look forward. Take a step forward into tribal lunge. So right foot steps forward, spinning open to the left. Deep squat, hips move way back. Two arms forward, seed hands, seaweed sway, side to side. Hips and, and butt move back. Lower lumbar stays moving in as you bow the belly to the left. Root down through the paws. Awesome. And then take your right hand to just below your right knee, left hand to your lower back. If your lower back is not moving in here, then come up a little bit higher. Yeah, so the knees are bent. The left paw is facing up to the top left hand corner of the mat. Hover the heel so you can dig down and drag back so the whole um, left side leg gets engaged. This guy is standing here or here, whatever your flexibility is in order to keep your lower lumbar moving in. And then finding a lengthening quality through the right leg. And keep the left paw, dig down, drag back. Right paw can do the same, dig down, drag back. It'll fire up the hammy stretch. Belly stays bowing to the front. Chin stays lifted and throat stays open. Awesome. One more full inhale. Exhale, rebend into your right knee. Take a little pounce, two seats out ahead of you. Step forward. Awesome. Let's take both hands X to seek up the back of the head and elbows hug forward. Pause, root down about hip, uh, feet or hip distance apart, maybe a little wider. Root down through the paws, even a slight hover of the heel. Sit the hips down and back, and then lift up, belly stretch. Same thing we did on the ground, when, on our knees. Sometimes a little shimmy side to side feels good, just like squish, squeak, squeak, squeak the ribs away from the hips. Keep the paws rooting down, energetic dig down and out. And then let's take an arch over to the right, crescent to the right, lift up to arch over, high jump style. So it's like, how long can you get your torso? And then arch over, release your right hand, catch the outside edge of your left thigh, a little resistance to stretch deeper. Cool. Add a spiral if you like it. Take your chin down to your right shoulder. Twist just the ribs to the left. Fix the head back in line with the heart and then arch over to the right again. Whoa. <laughs> ah. And then release. Both hands X to seek up the back of the head. One in the center to even it out. So sit low, hips back, pause root, and then lift up, torso belly stretch. <laughs> And then sit down and big arch over to the left.
finding that high jump quality of the torso. So hips tack down and back, lift up, arch over. Finding big extension all through the right side body. Cool. And then release your left hand, catch the outside edge of your right thigh. A little resistance to stretch deeper. The thigh pulls against the hand, the hips tack back and the belly bows forward as you lift up through those right ribs. Head can press back into the head, open the throat. Awesome. Maybe add a spiral, take the chin down to your left shoulder, twist just the ribs to the right, fix the head back in line with the heart, and then continue to, to arch over. And then release. Take a breath. <sighs> Kick my own butt sometimes. Okay, so hands at the hips. Right heel hovers, dig forward, send the hips back, drag back to engage the whole back line of the leg. And then you're gonna pick up the right foot with a heroed foot, hinge at the hips. Yeah, arms come out in front of you, globe, fingertips connect. Elbows push forward, lifted chin, belly bows forward, little pulse. Hamstring curl right heel to right butt. Get this guy fired up. Awesome. Moving into cross ankle squat, right ankle comes forward. Elbows keep pushing forward, chin stays lifted. Let's cross the right ankle over top of left thigh. Keep the right knee narrow to start. This allows space in the groins for you to hollow them. Sit low, glide hips back. Options with the hands, you can keep them out in front of you in globe, or you can take one hand to the inside of the knee or leg, thigh area, one hand to the ankle-ish area, push the arm straight, bow the belly, lift the chin. Sit a little lower. Maybe catch the shin. Use that, pulling up on the shin to lengthen the belly forward. One more full inhale. Exhale, take this guy all the way back. Moving through propeller, take two seats forward. Yeah, and then using this as transition down to the mat, pull your right knee forward, hinge at the hips, deep bend in the left knee. Pull the right knee forward, hinge at the hips, two domes meet the mat. Hitch kicks, so. Hitch kicks can be low or high. The lower you go, little hop side to side. Arms push straight. Landing light with the paw of the foot, a little spring in the knee. Um, I like to say like you paint a rainbow with your butt, so it's like the butt goes side to side. <clears throat> the higher you go, <laughs> the lighter you become. Keep the knees low. Arms push straight. And then land back, crouching cat. Cool. Take your left leg out to the side. Open leg style. Keep the knee nice and low, narrow to start to open the pelvic floor. Drop your right ear to right shoulder to lift up through the left ribs to become lighter on your left fingertips. Stay here, just focusing on the right paw rooting down and the right knee hugging to the right side of the mat. Or stoke your motor. Heel like it's pedaling through the stickiest honey there ever was. Belly stays bowing to the left. Breathing is <laughs> cool. Breathe. And then take your eyes, look forward. We're gonna step this left foot forward into a tribal lunge. So step it forward. Spin the feet to face the right side of the mat. Take a deep squat, hips move way back. Arms reach out in front of you, two seats, seaweed sway. Root down through the paws. Yeah, drop ear to shoulder to pick up opposite ribs, belly bows forward, hips pull back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then take your left hand to just below your left knee, right hand to your lower back. This right foot can pivot up to the top right hand corner of the mat so the knee stays more narrow, gives your groin space to hollow. Now check it out. If your lower lumbar is not moving in here, then come up a little higher. So above the knee, it's all cool too. Lower back moves in, 
<laughs> and then we can find this lengthening through the left leg. So lengthening, going towards straight, always keeping the micro bend. Pants are dirty. <laughs> Okay, and with the right paw, we dig that guy down and back to keep this guy fired up. Same with this one, we can dig it down, down and back. <laughs> All the fire. And belly stays bowed and chin stays lifted. Na 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 na. And then bend into your front knee. Take a little pounce, two seeds forward, step forward. A little seaweed sway, shake it out. Okay. So, hover your left heel. Dig the paw forward to send the hips back. Drag the paw back to engage the whole back line of the leg. Lift your left foot up with a heroed ankle. Hinge at the kip, hips to send it back, propeller pose. Two hands come forward into globe. Yeah, so check it out. V, elbows pull forward to stay broad and full through the upper back. Chin stays lifted and belly stays long, bowing forward. Standing leg stays bent, we root down through the right paw. Left heel energetically hugs to the left butt and the torso is leaning forward. Little pulses, what's up? We're gonna move from here into cross ankle squat. So find some stillness, take your left knee forward. Elbows push forward, cross the ankle over top of the thigh. Keep your left knee narrow, whoa, whoa. Keep your left knee narrow to start. This allows you space in the groins for them to sit down and move back with ease and freedom. Two places for your hands, either out in front of you, focusing on a lifted heart, always focusing on a lifted heart, or can take hands, one to the inside of your knee and one to your ankle or just on your thighs and push the arms straight. Allow the belly to bow forward and lift the chin. <laughs> one more full inhale. Exhale, we're going to take two seats forward. Take your left knee back behind you, moving in through propeller to the ground. We're in a deep bend into the right knee, um, pull the left knee forward, hinge at the hips. Deep bend in the right knee, pull the left knee forward, hinge at the hips, two domes meet the mat. Hitch kicks, get off your leg, you're gonna love me for that. <laughs> Sometimes I find that people think too much about them. So I say, like, pretend you're on hot coal. So it's like, hot, 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 hot. And then you're warm. And then you can just take your legs and pedal them out because I'm like, oh, holy smokes. <laughs> cool. And twist your cat to the right, toes to the right, knees to the right, hips sit low, big pickup of the, of the right um, ribs. And then twist your cat to the left. And then drop your right hip down. Reach your right arm long, side bow. Roll onto your back. Shimmy back onto the mat. Woohoo! Freedom pose. Little rocks from side to side. Allow the knees to pull heavy away from you. So it's like. Your arms go so straight. We broaden through the upper back. The belly stays bowed, lifted, and long. And let's end with an active twist. Take your knees into the air. Move the knees away. Arms reach away from you so that you get this tightness, this taut quality in your belly and the lower lumbar lifts. And then knees halfway to the right, arms halfway to the left. Arms are pushing straight and the heels are hamstring curled backing, <laughs> hamstring curling to the butt. Come back up the center, knees to the left, arms to the right, halfway, less is more. Arms pushing straight, two seeds. How much of the body can you get to engage? So hamstring curl those heels towards the glutes, that like energetic pull. Come back up. 
One more time on each side. This time let's add a little extension of the left leg to the right. Come back up the center and let's take a little extension of the right leg to the left. Leg doesn't have to go straight. Come back up the center. Wow. Ending with a twist, take your right leg, cross it over top of your left leg, pick up your bum by pressing your left foot into the mat. Put your bum over an inch to the right, drop it back down. Arms can find cactus and then allow your knees to fall to the left. Engage your core, lift back up the center, uncross your leg, press your feet into the mat, pick up the bum, re-neutralize the spine. Left leg crosses over top of right this time, press your right foot into the mat, lift the bum, inch it to the left just a little bit, drop it back down, and then continue to allow your legs to fall over to the right. Little twists. And then engage the core, lift back up the center, press the feet into the ground, lift the bum, feet in pose to end the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now check it out, two ways to get up, either have a rest if you want, or do some more bowspring if you want, or um, roll to a side and get up if you want, or rock and roll on your back because why not, it's fun, and it's a good little playtime. <laughs> Wow. Have a good day. Ciao.